to sweep the state. Let's begin first at 4.30 by bringing you up to speed this afternoon. The Catholic organization associated with Brophy College Preparatory is set to release the names of Jesuit priests accused of sexually assaulting minors since 1950. Brophy's president notifying the community about the report that's set to come out next month. It's not known yet if any of the priests are associated with Brophy. We will have the latest developments on this story on 12 News at 5 and 6. A school bus left on its side after a crash near the ISM Raceway this morning. Police say a pickup truck ran a stop sign and crashed into the Littleton Elementary School District bus. Three people were treated for minor injuries. Eight students and a driver were on board that bus. The driver was taken to the hospital and all of the students who were on that bus are now with their families. It's been almost a year since this dog named Baby was brought to the Arizona Humane Society, barely alive. Baby was four years old, 32 pounds, physically and emotionally abused. The person responsible found and sentenced to 45 days in jail plus probation. The good news is that Baby is ready to find her forever home. She needs a family who can be supportive, nurturing, and can afford her valley fever treatment. In New York federal court today, prosecutors showed jurors video of what they say was Joaquin El Chapo Guzman's drug tunnel between Mexico and an Arizona warehouse. That tunnel is equipped with electricity and a hydraulic lift. A retired customs agent testified that agents were surprised at how sophisticated this tunnel was. El Chapo is on trial for allegedly running a multi-billion dollar drug trafficking operation. Dozens are still missing as deadly wildfires continue to burn through California. The campfire has scorched some 13,000 acres as the death toll climbs to 48. Statewide, there are a total of 50 deaths. 9,000 firefighters have been battling the three wildfire search teams are using power saws and cadets.